YouTube, how are you doing guys? What's going on? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today guys, we've got October's Clips of the Month and holy moly have we got some smokers in today's episode. Like honestly, you guys got to stick around because you will literally witness the best Call of Duty trick shots you guys have ever witnessed before. Not only that, I've got a lot of stuff I do want to speak to you fellas about in today's video. Like yesterday, something massive went down and I'm going to be sharing that with you throughout this video and uh, yeah, stuff like that. But for now, I feel as though we should be appreciating the clips. This clip here, the reason I use this to understand it's not incredible incredibly insane, but the double tap was so quick that I just feel as though I should be sharing that with you guys. I don't know. I just found it really kind of cool. I've never seen anyone double tap so quickly. This clip here by Mute, he's out of the map on Advanced Warfare, and this clip here is insane. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Inky, why have you got the headphones in? You guys are about to find out. Roll the footage. Bang, there it is boys and girls, check out that shot, that shot there is freaking insane, the bloke that came first in last month's clips of the month, he hit this exact shot non-set up, the problem is, he didn't get the reload, so it wasn't as clean, this bloke managed to get the reload, it was insane, congratulations dude, you're in the top 10, that was nuts, anyways, we got mute again, this clip here is actually set up, I believe it's the only set up shot I've used throughout this video, I didn't realise it was set up until I actually put it in, and I'm like, ah shit, and it was too late then, but anyways, this clip here is nuts, you guys are going to freaking love it. Hey, oh, dude, do you guys understand, like, what it takes to hit this kind of stuff? This is out of the map, across the freaking world, non-set up. Like, you don't understand how lucky people have to get to hit this shit. This clip here. Boom, one freaking bot. That was a double wallbang. The bloke was, like, all the way at the back on one freaking bot, non-set up. That's insane. Malta, he's playing some campaign of Modern Warfare 2. He's about to hit a smoker. But honestly, guys, I've said this already. Today's episode is insane. This bloke, I'm not too sure what his name is. I'm so, so freaking sorry. Like, I understand you've changed your name for floaters, and I'm, I'm an idiot. I should have, when I watched your clip, I should have, you know, had a look at your YouTube channel, but I completely forgot. I believe this is the only bloke's name I've forgotten throughout the whole entire video. So, we're doing pretty good, guys. Alrighty, so time... Ewe, I believe his name is this clip here, Infinite Fade, bang, from a nice good spot. I've actually hit a shot from them in one of my videos as well. He managed to hit it unset up, so it's a lot better. The quality isn't the best, that's the only problem, but nevertheless, the clip itself, it's insane, man. Congratulations, dude, you're a freaking animal. Alrighty, Jay, what's he... Oh, my God. These clips, alrighty, the Carrier Donger. So, I don't think anyone will ever feature... Actually, I take... don't, don't even worry what I was about to say. I was about to say something, but... Just, just don't worry, all right? You guys will see later in the video what's happening. But Levi here hits a really... This is what I like to see. You know, some non-set-up smokers on maps you don't see very often. Because, you know, I'm always getting Carrier linked to me, Ray, you know. On Black Ops 3, for example, it's always the same maps. Like, this this map's different. You don't see Empire very very often, actually. So we've got Charge here. Now, this clip here is nuts. Like, I've hit that setup, and it took me forever. The fact that he u utilized that out of map kind of glitching you can do in Black Ops 3, and the fact that he... Utilize that glitch, then hit non setup freaking smoker out of the map. It's insane. This clip here, guys, you guys are gonna love it. Like, me, me, dude, just. What is that? Like, these kids are insane. How do people hit this non setup freaking bullshit? Speaking about all this non setup bullshit, guys, I actually wanna host an open lobby when the new CODs come out, but I wanna have a twist to it. I actually wanna have like 17 of us in the game and spawn in one bot, and that bot's going to be unset up. And then we're all going to trick shot that non-set up bot. It's going to be so, so fun in Search and Destroy, like Max, he's done here. If you guys don't realize what he's done here, he spawned one bot in, he freaking built him non-set up in Search and Destroy in Prime Match. That is so, so dope. Honestly, I love your work there, Magsy. That's awesome. We got Magsy again. I believe he's in Vault. He might be in Justice, but I believe he is in Vault. But yeah, this kid is insane. He may be featuring the top 10 with one of his clips. If he is, please go subscribe to him, because this bloke is a biller of a private match trick shot. Like, he's so good. And I just love private match trick shotting. Like, recently, I don't know, I just feel like it's getting so cool and hyped, and my channel's really heavily revolving around private match lately, and honestly, I'm loving it. But trust me, guys, very soon, I will be jamming online, especially for Infinite Warfare on COD 4. I'm gonna be buying an Astro headset so I can record people's voices and shit like that. Because the reason I'm not actually playing online at the moment on the new gen console is because I can't record people's voices unless I'm in a Skype call and that's kind of a pain in the ass. So I will be buying a headset and yeah, I just think that's going to be really dope. We're going to be jamming online. Of course, I will be jamming private match as well. But yeah, anyways, Styles hits a cross map smoker. And the cool thing about, well, it's not cool actually, but he didn't realize he was on last. So he's kind of a dickhead there. But guys, later on in this video, you will literally see the best Call of Duty trick shot you've ever seen. Like, I am not kidding. It's way near the end of the video, I think. But it's honestly... Insane, and the bloke did place first because his clip was nuts. Like, no one's ever going to beat this clip. Anyways, 
Fate tools. This is what I like to see, dude. Some Call of Duty ghosts. Alrighty, guys. I need a breather because I just went for a run. So I'm already puffed out. Now that I'm talking, I need to breathe. Alrighty. Oh, tunes. This is the bloke that came first. Not with this clip, but oh, he's so good at campaign trick shining, and he's crazy just in general at pride. And that's oh. This clip here by Charge. He, there's a new Sky Barrier glitch on Splash. He's utilized that Sky Barrier glitch. And then from there, he's utilized the uh, new Dart glitch. So he's actually trickshotting off a Dart from a Sky Barrier. I found that so creative. It's non setup. The clip itself is so clean. There's no overspin or anything. He got the reload. I just, I don't know. I had to share it with you fellas. That was insane. This clip, just a nice clean dunk. But guys, stick around. Honestly, you this, the clips are insane. I can't believe you guys are linking me to shit. It's honestly insane. I just want to mention, when you guys do link me clips, try don't link me your whole app clip like I mentioned last month. Just link me like, at most, five of your best clips. But this clip here by Mac is, man. Do you guys understand what this would take to hit? Like, he's hit a non-setup freaking slide, which means he would have to put the bot's health on normal. So it can't be a minuscule because he would have killed the, uh, the bloke he, you know, slid off. But that was just... This clip here... Oh... Titty knack with the reload non setup. Guys, this is awesome. Alrighty, let, let's talk about what went down yesterday. So, earlier I was telling you guys that something massive went down, and holy shit, was it massive. So, I actually dropped my first, you know, money in turn. Like, I've never gone out there. Oh, by the way, this clip here's on one freaking bot in search and destroy. So, we had one attempt. This is so. Oh, I really want to do an open lobby, like I said earlier. Like, we have 17 of us doing this with one bot. Imagine us all going for the raid suicide. All 17 of us jumping out. It would just be so dope. Anyways, this clip is nuts. All right, what was I talking about? Dude, it's hard to commentate and talk to you guys at the same time. But, like I said, basically, with my apparel, you guys know I need a logo. So, I needed to hit up a graphics designer. I didn't want to hit up a graphics designer over Twitter because obviously. They're not like, you know, it's not their job. They're not like fully experienced people. I wanted to actually hit up a full-on, you know, proper GFX graphics designer. And that's what I did. I get uh, So far, I've had to pay him $100. So he's he had to do some illustrating. And then he has to make that illustrating image a digital thing. So for that, I, I don't really know these GFX terms. But for that, it costs a little more. So all up, it's probably going to cost me like $500. But in the end, I'm hoping it's worth it. I'm hoping I don't get bankrupt. It'll, it's all up to you guys. If you guys actually want to buy my stuff that's what it all comes down to but yeah i, I just can't appreciate appreciate you guys enough like honestly it's all because of you fellas this shit's happening and yeah man it's all about taking risks that's what i've learned if you guys want to be successful you've got to take risks that's what i'm doing i'm dropping money and obviously when i do my apparel i have to buy you know heaps of shit in bulk and because of that it's going to cost like at least a grand then it's about making profit from that but, you know, the end result, I just want you guys to love the shirt. And I know I'm going to love wearing it. Like, right now, I'll be wearing my shirt. I'll be showing it off. Even some hats. I don't know. It all depends on money because I'm pretty bankrupt at the moment. I don't have much money because I'm studying at university. It's a 25 grand course. i got bills to pay and shit like that. i got my car, my rego, everything. It's all insane. But anyways, Heat's my man. He's utilizing the dark glitch. And look at this shot here with the Banshee. I freaking love it. I think it's dope. And, uh, yeah, so... My logo is being put together right now. So he's currently, like, literally illustrating it right now. I've, I've given him, like, my ideas. You know, I've told him, okay, I want this, I want this. But the thing is, I'm not even 100% sure myself what I want. But I know I want something to do with an octopus of some sort that's, like, super, super dope. Like, it, it, it just symbols successful people. It symbols motivation. It symbols, you know, we're better than everyone else. We're the head of the pack. Uh, uh, Oh, oh, when I when I get it done and the design gets done, I'll speak to you guys and make a separate video because uh, there's a lot of things that symbolises and I'll write it down so I can you know you know let you guys know all properly because at the moment I'm just I can't think I've got music in my ears I've got freaking doggers this map dude this clip here is out of the map like that was so creative oh this clip res my man he had one bullet left that was on his very last bullet and he managed to hit I just found that really cool so I had to throw that in look at that and it's really like even that clip there I understand it doesn't look clean but. To hit that shit. Like, dude, he's in the top 10. My man, Magsy. Everyone subscribe to this bloke. Bang, there it is. Magsy, you're a freak. And there's a bloke called Charge. You guys will see this Charge guy throughout the video. He's insane too. He's in the top 10. You've got to drop him a sub as well. Go check him out. Because these bloke, most of the people that feature in the top 10 are private match trick shotters. Like, that's all they do. And they hit the most insane private match doggers. It's seriously just nuts. Magsy, my man, this is a non-setup 1440, or actually, it could be like a 2160. I don't know, dude. Magsy, my man, you're insane. But guys, back to the logo. So he's currently making it now. He said within 36 hours, he will get back to me. And then from there, you know, I've got to, I've got to give him the $100 then. So I've put the $100 on a hold, and as soon as he's done with the design, 
I give him the hundred dollars. Then from there, I have I think three. It, oh, it's, it's too complex. Like to, it's too confusing to speak to you, fellas, because I barely even know what's going on myself. But anyways, charge my man out of the map. Is this clip insane? Look at that. He's in the top ten. Congratulations. Do you guys understand where he is right now? He's out of the map. So he's utilized the Hellstorm glitch to get out of the map. From there, he went on the freaking slide thing. Then from the slide, he jumped in a palm tree and built. Oh, this clip. I love this clip. Bang! See, I had this in the top 10 originally, but I had to take it out. The thing is, guys, because everyone that links me clips this month, is all the clips are so something saying that choosing a top 10 is retarded. Like, I originally, I think I had like 40 or 45 clips in the top 10. Then I had to remove like so many, and it, honestly, it's just, it's impossible to choose. Like, it really is. Like, don't feel discouraged if you're not in the top 10, because it's literally like flipping a coin and going, this clip or this one, you know? I just kind of base it off personal preference overall. You know, I just sit here and go, okay, what do I enjoy more? And that's just straight up what I went by. Anyways, my man, Magsy, I'm loving this, man. Like, he hit a shot from here, well, a little further back. But I love how he's jumping off here and then kind of shooting under. Like, you expect him to shoot out that way and he shoots over here. I find that really creative and really nice. Mind you, fellas. I do want to mention, right now we are recording on the G7X. So I believe it can only record for 25 minutes. Then after 25 minutes, it will cut off. So I've actually got my webcam recording as well. So when this cuts off, the webcam software will come in action. This clip here, I was trying to hit this in one of my videos non-setup. I was trickshotting from like that spot for about an hour. I couldn't hit, so I gave up. So whoever hit that shot, I'm sorry I couldn't commentate over it, but honestly, you're an animal. I've chucked an Infinite Warfare clip in here, because holy shit, no, I hype for Infinite Warfare. There's one problem with the new CODs coming out, guys. They're coming out on the 4th, and on the 4th, I've got an exam. My end of year exams end on the 7th, which means I may not be able to make a video, unless I can manage my time really, really well. But the thing is, you guys know, I want to do really well like this year with the university. I've been averaging so far like 80, 85% throughout the year. So I've been doing really, really, really well. So 80, 85% at university, that's a HD. So that's a high distinction. So I've been putting the effort in. I've been doing YouTube as well. Like my life's been a grind recently, but it's all paying off now. I've got the design and shit going. But like I was saying, guys, so um, COD comes out the 4th. My last exam's on the 7th. So I'm not too sure if I'll be able to make videos. This might actually be my last video for maybe a week or two because I really want to focus on exams. Like I can't... I may make a video, I'm just not sure, we'll see what happens, but if, if I'm, you know, on a dry streak for a week or two, you know, I don't upload for a week or two, hopefully you guys can understand why, I just really want to do well with these exams, I'm not saying that I'll get a job out of my uni course, well obviously that's what I'm hoping for, but honestly, I really want to make this a job, like I'm, you guys don't understand how much I enjoy this shit, like this is honestly the most fun I've ever had, and yeah, I also want to create a business outside of YouTube myself, you know, it's funny, because I work at Subway, a customer came in, He's just a moderate income earner, nothing special about him. But this bloke spent 200 grand just a few weeks back. He bought a cafe and he's now making a shit ton of profit through it. And that just goes to show like what you can do. Like a lot of people with their leftover money, you know, they go buy things, cars and shit. This bloke didn't do that. He went and bought a cafe. Now he's making profit. It's passive income. He's got workers for him. So he does nothing and he's getting like probably 300 bucks a day for doing nothing. Like he's, he's still working full time in a separate job, but he's got that cafe on the side. He does nothing and he makes $300 each and every day. And it just goes to show what you can do with money. And that's what I want to do. Like I feel like to be successful, we need to take risks. So that, that's kind of why I got this apparel thing going. I hopped out of the shower yesterday and I thought, hey, what the frick am I waiting for? I jumped on the in internet, hit up a graphics designer and we're going from there. You know, obviously I'm investing a shit ton of money. I'm hoping over time, it will come back, and I really just hope that you guys enjoy the clothes. And yeah, I love. I, I want you guys to show it off too. I'm actually going to be putting. Um, you guys can see it on my webcam, but my wall behind me. I want to like put up a frame up there of one of my shirts and write everyone's name or gamer tags down that buys my shirt. So I think that would be really dope. So it'll be like a memorial thing. You guys will be on the back of my wall forever. Anyway, check out this clip here by Pumas. He freaking window shots hit markers. He's retarded because he somehow misses like four bots standing out there. He misses the quick scope to rage it. And then check this out. He freaking just dogs exits it. That's insane. See, this should be in the top 10, but oh shit, I'm wiggling everything. The only reason he's not in the top 10 it's just because, I don't know, it's standoff. We've seen standoff a million times now. I feel like I need to be using different games, and I'm loving my Black Ops 3 at the moment. So, I'm sorry, Pumas, but that, honestly, that is deserving of the t top 10 for sure. It's deserving, like, number one place, but it's just I'm a little dry at the moment of Black Ops 2. I'm a little over it, so that's the only reason. I just base my clips off personal enjoyment. Anyways, this clip here, I found kind of cool. This one, th there's only one bot, and he literally just spawned in. As soon as he spawns in, he manages to hit it. So, you notice the game doesn't end straight away. That was pretty cool and then bang, enemies have been eliminated down there at the bottom left. 
this was cool, man. Like, you'll notice too, I've kind of had a little pattern here with the music. So the music's cut out, I let the song play through. The music won't play again until someone hits, and then, you know, that signifies he's in the top 10. That's when the music will start. All right, this clip here by Fur G. I love the creativity. Like I said earlier, I love seeing maps you don't see every day. And this is one of it. I understand it's a stop and stare, but it's just a map you don't see often. And he utilized the dark glitch from such a sick spot. This spot, the beat's about to drop again, boys. This, this shot here is insane. Double freaking zoom load. 1440 floater with the reload. It's so, oh, it's just so clean. It's beautiful fusing. Congratulations, man. You're in the top 10. That is so well deserving. The fact that you hit that, that is just, because he, he would have been on his own host as well. Oh, this. This wasn't the top 10. I had to take it out. I'm sorry, but man, Gasha, what are you doing? Like, this is just across the world, non set up. Like, who hits this shit? <laughs> Because the thing is with boxing private match, not like online where, you know, all the enemies will stand there on the edge. Like, they're literally just randomly running around the map, and he managed to hit that. Like, that is just... It blows my mind. This clip here is so creative. Gusha, you're really good, man. You're crazy. Keep linking me clips. I promise you, you will get in the top 10, because you're insane. This clip here is so creative. Look how far away he is. He's out of the map on Yemen. I don't even know how the frick you do that, but that was just... That was dupe. You're nuts. This clip here, we got a freaking... What was it? Titty knack? Cockback knack? I don't really know what you call it, to be honest. Titty knack? Cockback knack? See, a lot of people, when I commentate, people go, Inky, you're so dumb. You called him this. You said this. The thing is, when you're talking for so long, and it's really... I watch it back and go, why the frick did I say that? You know what I mean? Until you commentate for yourself, you guys may understand what I mean. But, Magsy, my man, the quality on this clip isn't quite there. I don't understand why. It's either your rendering settings or the way I've downloaded it. I've kind of clicked the wrong setting. I'm not too sure, but the clip itself, my man... Where the frick is he? He was in a quick spot, by the way, too. He's playing on a cram. Tunes! This kid is insane. This is a friendly fire campaign donger, boys and girls. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but campaign friendly fire trick shotting is harder than hitting trick shots online, 100%. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but it's not like you just randomly trick shot and he dies. Like, you don't know how many bullets it's gonna take. The kid's insane tunes, you are dope. Everyone go subscribe to tunes. He's actually came first, not with that clip. You guys will see later, but go subscribe to him because he is seriously insane. I believe he's a Vault member too. Vault and Justice, man, those kids are all insane. This, mate, this clip is even insane. Bang, he builds a bot out of midair. Like, I don't know why the bot's jumping off the edge, but I, I just found that really cool. Like, throws the tomahawk, really complex, nice double tap. Bang, oh, mute. This clip's so beautiful. Mute, my man, understand you've linked me a few clips this month. You definitely, like, this clip here deserves in the top 10. Like, honestly, I appreciate you sending in all the clips. I can say you are not in the top 10 this month, but honestly, you are well deserving of it because your clips are insane, but... I just can't choose, man. There's just so many crazy clips that it's just so hard to choose. This clip here, non-setup, online. How clean is that? Like, I would have placed this in my clips of the month if it was a private match clip. But it's freaking online. So complex. Does so much shit. Freaking smokes him across the world. And, yeah, that's just insane. Alrighty, so we're just over halfway now, guys. Or actually, we're just about halfway because you guys will be seeing the top 10 at the end of this video. Anyways... Mute, my man, has got the reload knack non set up. Like, what are people doing hitting all these titty knacks, reload knacks non set up? Not long ago, I was. Oh! Oh, congratulations, Charge. You're on the top 10. That is definitely well deserving. Like, this is just completely. Like, you guys would have seen that slide before, but this is like double the distance. It's insane. It's just. And we got Charge again hitting another non set up. So, I remember, guys, the health is on normal. Like, he can potentially get hit markers doing this shit. And this is just... Like, what? He does so much... Oh, you know what's funny? I've actually tried recording a video before doing that exact slide on Breach. And I could not time it. So after, like, 15 minutes, I thought, hey, we're giving up. Try to stop and hop off. I rage that hard. And it's serious. Like, when you see people slide, I was watching phase replays do it. It doesn't look too difficult. But until you sit there and try it yourself, like, to shoot the right way... It's freaking hard. Like, you know, shoot the right way without stopping staring. It's insane. Oh, my God. This clip's going to blow your mind, guys. Holy shit. Look how... This, all right, this could potentially be one of the best Call of Duty trick shots I've ever witnessed in Call of Duty history. And I'm not just saying that. Do you guys... Like, have a look on the mini-map. You can't even see the actual map. This is non-set up. Non-freaking set up. Non-set up. Non-set up. What is that? Who hits that shit? That is insane. Pack, this bloke's injustice. He deserves a few more subscribers as well. This was originally in the top 10, because that clip is insane. But once again, it's so hard to choose, man. I'm so sorry you're not placing the top 10, but it's just... It, it, it's too hard. But this clip, my man, like... 
Go search up Justice Pack on YouTube. You'll see his dongers. He's pretty insane. Alrighty, we got dirties now. Now, like I said earlier, I don't want to place carrier clips just because, I don't know, it's always hard to tell if they've got aim. I know this clip here is an aimbot though, because he showed me the enemy's point of view and everything. Like, that clip is retarded. By the way, if you guys are wondering where the enemy was in that previous clip on carrier by dirties, the enemy was on the freaking Blackbird. Like, that's insane. I forgot to put the enemy point of view in. I'm so sorry, dirties. I don't know why I forgot. I just realized now watching it back, I'm a freaking dickhead. But this clip here, resin, this is the one I was going for in private match for like an hour. I couldn't hit it. So Okay, but all right, we got tunes again. This, this is nuts. Like he's in campaign, all right. He see a lot of people won't understand this clip because I used to have a series on my channel where actually, actually I've got a playlist for my campaign trick shot. If you want to check it out, uh, there won't be a link in the description, but just go to my playlist and you guys can watch it. You'll see my campaign trick shots. Like I really respect campaign trick shotting. It ain't easy. It's a lot harder than private match itself. Like it's really difficult. Anyways. Pack, my man, that's insane. Okay, I wrote a little sticky note down here about things I want to speak to you fellas about. Okay, so I've got one more thing I want to speak to you guys about. So I get a lot of comments on my YouTube videos. You know, people say, Inky, oh my god, this clip. I believe I've already placed Maxi before in one of my Clips of the Months app with this clip here. But I thought, hey, you know, he linked it to me again. I don't know if it was an accident or maybe I never did, you know, put this clip in. I can't remember. But I, I just decided to throw it in here, you know. But this clip should be featuring the top 10. Like, he's worthy for sure of the top 10. But like I said, I believe he's placed before with this clip. But don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% Magsy, but this, like, what is that? With the Dracon, so clean. I love the reload without sleight of hand. It looks so quick. Like, the slow reload looks so beautiful. This clip is insane. Like, you guys would have seen, at the start of this video, some bloke plays. He hit a trick shot from here, non-setup. Similar to Dirty's. Like, I had to pick between the two which was the better clip. And honestly, I don't have clues. So I just flipped the clue in and the other bloke won. So that's why I played Sim. This is online here. Alrighty, guys. I'm, I'm talking way too much. I've got to talk about the link. So, you guys always go, Inky, what YouTube equipment do you use? You know, how do you record? What editing software do you use? All that shit. If you you guys want to see all the softwares I use, what I record with? Oh my god, this clip. This is seriously... Oh my god. Yes, but what I say, where was I? Um, YouTube equipment. So my webcam, my, my my blue snowball. Everything will be in the description. I've got links go, that go that will take you over to Amazon. And that's exactly where I bought my products from. It's the most cheapest, best stuff you'll ever find. So if you guys want to buy it yourself, click down on the link in the description. From there, you go over to Amazon. And you guys can buy it. You don't have to buy it. Maybe just go check my stuff out. Maybe you guys are sitting there right now wondering, I wonder, wonder what he's recording with. Click on the links, you guys will see. Anyways, back to the action. Tyler, double freaking titty. Is this titty knack or cockback knack? Are they different things? I don't even know. Please don't hate me, guys, but I'm just not sure. Once again, I don't, I, I thought, I, I think this kid thought he was on last, but he wasn't on last. Someone did this earlier, and he's using a suppressor. Holy shit, that clip is insane. I believe it's over the green thing as well. Like, if you got kill cam for that, dude, you could have, you could, honestly, dude, you could have placed number one, because that was just retarded. This clip here, light machine gun donger. Normally, you know, I understand people aren't a massive fan of the assault rifle, light machine gun trick shotting, but I don't know, it's the only one I got linked to me this month, so I thought, hey, I should be throwing it in. It's pretty insane. Anyways, guys, if you fellas want to link clips to my clips of the month for some reason, oh, wait, hold up, don't talk yet. Reload knack. Reload knack to a camp. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, trick shot up from that spot, but he utilized the specialist thing, was able to hit that. That's insane tunes. You are a freaking animal. Everyone's subbing. Anyways, Rise of My Man. I actually know this bloke. We used to play together back in the days on Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost. He's the man. He's utilized the stepping stone glitchy with the dart, and he's hit a non setup smoker with the score. No, not the score streak, the specialist. I love, you know, when people adding things you don't see very often, like score streaks and specialists and shit like that. That's why I think Infinite Warfare is dope. I love that you have specialists, or I believe they're called specialists, and you add in all those cool things. It's pretty dope. And I'm more hyped for Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Holy shit, I think it's going to be good. Like, I understand people are saying it's a remastered COD. You know, we'll get bored of it pretty quickly. But the thing is, no one really trickshot it on Call of Duty 4. Like, 95% of the people watching this video right now probably never trickshot it on Call of Duty 4. Like, no, not many people did it back then. So, it is new to a lot of people. It's even new to me. Like, I never trickshot it on it. The only reason I've trickshot on it recently is for a video in private match. I've never trickshot it online. So, it's going to be completely new to me. I can't wait for it. But, um... Yeah, shit, I was speaking to you guys about something before, eh? Right? And now I completely forgot. Anyways, Ecoy, some charge, my man. So, charge, he's a crazy, crazy trick shotter. He hit this shot um, last month, and now we got Ecoy hitting it from some insane glitch freaking elevator spot on Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty Ghost, man. It's seriously the best COD. Search and Rescue and everything is so dope. I can't wait for Search and Rescue and Infinite Warfare. That is just going to be so dope. Oh, I've got a question for you guys. Can you hit floaters on Call of Duty 4 Remastered? Because in one of my videos I said, hey, I think we can hit floaters on COD 4. And then I've had a couple comments saying, I don't think you can in here. 
Can you, can you not? Let me know down in the comment section if you know the true answer, because honestly, I'm really curious. I'm hoping we can hit floaters, but still, if we can't, it is what it is. You know, we, we gotta learn to deal with it. Anyways, phase on man. Really nice clip, pulled out the iPad, found that really sick. Fatals, he pulls out the specialist. This is what I love to see. That looks so, so dope, man. So clean, so insane. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I just realized my, um, my G7X is gone. Alrighty, when the... Oh, shit. <laughs> I just realized we're the top 10. This is the part where I'm supposed to go and you guys just sit here and watch the clips, but... I guess I'm still commentating. Wait, what is this? Oh wait, no, we're not in the top 10. Shit, I'm a dickhead. Okay, I'm silly, I got I thought I was in the top 10 because I just saw Pax non-setup ghost clip. By the way, that's on one bot in search and rescue. One bot, search and rescue. He had one attempt like that. That's nuts. So yeah, he he, he plays 10th. I'll let you guys know about that. That's why I thought the uh, commentary was over. I'm such a dickhead. Anyways, I believe we're coming. Are we coming to the end? Okay, so I reckon we got about five minutes left until you guys see the top 10. But yeah, honestly, like... Pax clip before his injustice. He hit that, like I said, on one bot across the freaking world. That it's that, oh, it's so insane. I've got to do that for an open lobby. Hit up some awesome, crazy trick shotters. We'll just try and trick shot that one non setup bot. Like that would be so dope. Maybe we'll do it on Infinite Warfare or COD 4 because uh, I would like to do it on Black Ops 2 and stuff. But the problem is, no one bother watching it once Infinite Warfare comes out. Anyways, Pluto here. This is on one bot. In search and destroy, or is it search and rescue? I don't know. I think he's actually playing search and destroy right now, but it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, that's on one bot, non-setup wall bank. So yeah, I kind of had to use that. I'm loving that people are getting creative like that now. Like, wait, why am I still look? I just realized I'm still looking up here. I'm supposed to be looking over there now. I'm not realizing that we've cut out. Anyways, pack. This is nuts, man. You're honestly so insane. Only if you didn't overspin, that would have been crazy. Okay, this clip here is an interesting one. Like, I honestly have no clue where the bloke is. If you guys know where he is, please comment below. All right, let's do something. So last month, I said, you know, comment the letter A if you're here, if you're still watching this far into the video. Right now, comment blink. Let's do... No, that's too long. Don't comment blink. Let's comment... Let's comment, ah, uh, shit. Let's comment I, the letter I for Inky. Because I'm honestly so curious to see how many of you guys are still sticking around this far into the video. I'm guessing not many are, but some maybe. I'm not too sure. Anyways, Blink just hit that shot on one bot, non-setup, and search and destroy. That was crazy. Charge. This is nuts. If you got the reload, man. Like, I'm, people are going to hate me for this. Like, I understand the clip's still just insane with or without the reload. But just with the reload, it just makes it so much more enjoyable to watch. It really does. Like, it just looks so, so clean. Cooper, man. Utilizing that stepping stone dark glitch hits a crazy over the over the freaking roof shot. And the cool thing about this clip here, guys, I didn't have to fade it. He faded it for me. If you guys ever want to do that for me, I'll love you guys forever. You're honestly awesome. Okay. This clip here, this is awesome. I have no clue what map he's playing. I've got all the DLC on Call of Duty Go, so I swear I've never played this map in my life. But he hits an out-of-the-map smoker. I've seen other people record, you know, videos on this, but normally, you know, they're getting dummies and stuff like that. That bloke hit it non-setup. This clip, this is with one bot. One bot in Search and Destroy. Like, what are these kids doing? Nismo, you're insane, man. You are so insane. Like, the fact that he's hitting this on one bot. I understand a lot of you guys are probably thinking right now, Inky, mate, what are you doing? It's EB. Trust me, guys, it's not. I always check my clips, pause it right when he shoots, the bullet trail goes dead into the enemy. It's 100% legit. Trust me. These kids are just like... Dude. Mute. Mute is insane. I'm just, I just can't believe, I don't believe he's in the top 10 at all, like I was saying earlier, but I really feel like he should be, because every clip he's linking me is insane, but it's just, it's so hard to play. It's like this man, cockback knack, freaking 1440 man, non-setup, like, to be able to just, oh, because the thing with online guys, when you trick shot, right, the bot will, well, the enemy will run to the edge. The thing with private match, the bots don't run to the edge, so it, it, it's kind of, in a way, more difficult to hit. Alrighty, this clip here by Rev, oh, I have no clue where the enemy is, but this is just insane, <laughs> like, that is so far across the map, it's just, like, where is the bloke? Does, I, I just don't, oh, Guys, the beat is about to drop. This is 100% the best Call of Duty trick shot I've ever witnessed in my life. I don't know if you tried campaign trick shotting. Friendly fire trick shots are the hardest trick shots you can ever hit. He gets one attempt, then he got to restart the mission and do this shit all again. Like, get back to this spot and freaking dong this with the. That's in like that. You would never beat like you. you uh, see. The problem is, I don't think many people are going to un truly understand that clip and what like what he truly just hit then. He's seriously just... There's like a 0.1% chance of that happening. This clip here, it's on one freaking bot as well. In Search and Destroy. So that's super dope. Good shit, Fury. 
Brizzy. Okay, guys. Brizzy. He's hit the gap. This was so beautiful. I love this clip. I freaking love you guys, too. Like, honestly, thanks for 10K. I've said this many times, but I, I can't believe I'm at 10K. Like, I know... I know I'm going to hit 100k, guys. I really do. One day, we're going to hit it. And I just want you guys to stick around and, you know, see the growth. And maybe it can motivate you guys. Because I know we can do it. Like, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. But over time, I don't know. You guys would have seen in my 10k video. If you haven't, I may leave a link down in the description. But it's just showing my progress from nothing to something. And by me watching that myself, I really, like, truly realized, holy shit, I've came this far. Anyways, news my man. That clip is so clean. Like I said earlier, guys, oh, I really want to hit this clip. I've gone for it, but I can't do it. Like, where is he? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this clip, man, like, this is, like, really complex too. He does so much shit over the shoulder with the ballista, with the reload, no overspin. I have no clue where the kid is. I love those clips when people hit and you just have no clue where he is. It's, it's the best feeling too when you hit it. Like, you ever hit a clip and you have no clue where the bloke is? It's seriously so freaking awesome. Alrighty, Fury. Now, these clips here, see, you'll never see one of these clips in the top 10 of mine, even though they are completely insane, really hard hits, just because the death barriers on Black Ops 3 just don't look clean, and that's the problem with this clip. Like, it's super dope, but as soon as he hits, there's a death barrier, and, yep, there you go. Well, that just shows, <laughs> it goes to show I don't like the death barrier, right? That's kind of why I cut it off there. But anyways, Woofied, or Woof, no, Woofied, nah, be Woofied, because his YouTube channel's called Woofy. Don't, don't, I don't know how I remember that, but I do. His YouTube channel's called Woofy. All right, this is the last clip, guys. I'm going to go links in the description if you guys want to submit clips please send me unlisted or public videos not private videos because i can't view it so many people link me private videos i have no clue anyways guys go drop a sub to the top 10 i'm out see you later boys